Hello, brothers and sisters. This is Lisa, and I'm here to share a repost from Miss Sophie. The title is House of Cards, and this was originally posted July 5th, 2020. Interesting thing happened as I was typing this word. All of a sudden, a quick thunderstorm came and the electric went off for about three hours, so I could not finish typing it up, but finally lights came back on so I could type. This is not the first time strange things have happened and Satan has tried to stop me from posting. Here is the word finally, starting with the verse. Seek and ye shall find, and all things shall be added unto you. Matthew 6, 33. Seek ye first the kingdom of God, for this is where your treasures are are to be stored. My child, beloved child of God, prophecies are now unfolding that have been foretold years ago. This house of cards called America is about to fall. Hard it shall go down, and at the speed of light all will be taken by surprise. Mene mene tekel ufarsin, double judgment, A nation that spills blood of innocent ones. Blood shall spill in their land. Blood will flow for the crimes against my treasured created beings, my babies. They say, he does not see. He does not see. He does not know. The hour has come when all will see and know that I am is very much alive and they will come to know the Almighty on my terms, not theirs. Child, most Christians themselves believe they can escape my chastisement, the testing I will send their way. Many will fall at this time as it becomes more apparent who were truly never of me. Their hour, too, is coming. Persecution, will refine them as they go through the fire of testing. I love my children, but they too must come back into alignment with my commands. This is not my wrath, but my correction to those who must be corrected. The lukewarm will be forced to make a decision. Either they repent, return, or fall away. They want to live their lives for themselves. I created man to live for me, to obey, to desire me, to have a relationship. I am not just a happy meal. I am love, but now they will see my severity. It is not all about them. What about me? What about the respect, reverence to me? Where is the fear of God anymore? Now they will be awakened in ways they never expected. My children shall go through the fires of trials, tribulations, and afflictions. As in the days of old, so shall it be again. As in the days of old and as in other countries, it it has always been. Persecution has always been ongoing that Americans want to jump ship, get wings, fly away. This shall not be. Not all will be martyred, but many shall be. Cushy lifestyles will no longer be. Life as it once was will no longer be. I will no longer tolerate complacency. The lukewarm will be spewed from my mouth like vomit unless they repent. If they repent, they will receive the crown of life. Many perish for lack of knowledge and their denial to acknowledge I am a God of love, a God of judgment, a God of severity, a God who will have no other gods before me. I am sovereign, holy, pure, and my bride must be purified and holy. I accept nothing less. I despise this nation of wickedness. America's heartbeat is about to go into cardiac arrest. 
I, the great I am, have pitted nations against her for all her crimes against humanity. Invasion from all sides I will allow in. This nation is no longer one nation under God, indivisible but a nation that is divided, and a nation of people who believe they are their own gods. All will see there is one God, one true living word, one way, one truth. It is my way. The Father of creation blessed this nation and now will laugh at their calamity. I am that I am and always will be. All will stand before me on judgment day. Those who are righteous and just, walking upright in my way, will enter into my kingdom. Demons tremble before me, for I am a fearsome, all-consuming fire, and Satan and his demons cannot cross the lines I have given. Yet man fears me not. How many tremble and fear my name? Fear is the beginning of wisdom, yet fools despise my wisdom and instruction. Proverbs 1.7 At one time, child, my heart was for America. I blessed her beyond measure and gave her increase and then watched her turn her face from me. Now I turn my face away. Let her fall. Let the blood she spilled now spill over her. I will show her how it feels to be invaded, as she had invaded many a nation for her own greed and power, wanting full control. Let her experience the pangs of despair, lamentations and wailing, for she afflicted many all across the world. Let the fire burn her till all evil is purged from her and she is no more. I will let her know that I cannot and will not ever be removed. By throwing me out of a nation that was blessed by me, and by discarding and not living by all I commanded her to live by, destruction befalls. A nation without me is a nation destroyed. Things will increase at an alarming rate. Pestilences will continue and get much worse. Shortages and famine will become the norm. Millions shall die as this house of cards falls. Either my people will repent or they will perish and go to the master Satan. Games are over. My cards are on the table. Either they play by my hand, or they will go and burn and be in everlasting torment and separation from me. I have had enough of the arrogance, pride of a nation of people against me. Time to call many home, but for so many that think they are coming home to me, they will be in shock when they see where they made their eternal home. They believed in the lies of eternal security, once saved, always saved, and didn't believe they could fall. This live-as-you-wilt mindset brings many to hell. Life will never be the same here. Time is short. Crunch time upon all. Repent. 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 What is coming will increase exponentially. Nation of America, I despise you. You are an abomination to me. I will enjoy watching the smoke of your burning arise to the heavens. Everything will crash. You have no power. I was the power, the hand that upheld you. Without me, you are nothing. Welcome to your new world, children, that you so eagerly allowed in. See how well you do without me as evil takes hold. As you become enslaved, as you die by the sword, as your wives and children are ravished and your houses are plundered, as your goods are taken away, 
as your lives unravel before your very eyes. The new world order is here, but because I am a God of mercy, the new world order will never be fully implemented, for no soul would be alive if I allow them to completely annihilate all of you. I will have mercy upon all souls who cry in repentance, in sackcloth and ashes. I will save these. I will also display great acts of mercy, healings, and miracles to allow all to see that I am alive and I am God, to allow those to see they were deceived. These will come to me with a contrite heart, and many will be saved. Rest will be shaf and perish. My shining lights will bring many sons and daughters back to me, as I will perform great exploits through my chosen vessels. So in the midst of much darkness, some things too horrible to mention that are coming, I will shine through. I am the light of the world. My greatness shall be seen. It is my love for you to let all know I am the King of glory, and every knee will bow and every tongue will confess. I do love you, my people, but you have wandered too far and pushed me aside. Let the judgments fall where they may. This is the year of the fall. As the year progresses, the fall will be more profound in the fall. My beloved daughter, this is all. And that is the end of this message. I pray you all have a beautiful day in the Lord. God bless each and every one of you, and I will see you either next video or in the air. Bye-bye.